Welcome to GFN Gaming, I'm Russ and in today's game we're going back to Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team for another battle report. It's an aggressive northern meta league game between myself and nice Ben. He's running the Void Dancers, so how nice can he really be, and I'm bringing the Blooded. Before we get to the mission, let's have a look at the teams starting with those dastardly Void Dancers, the Void Dancer Troop. So Ben's running the murder clowns and at the start of the game their Sadeth allegory will be tragedy, which is losing wounds in shooting. Leading Ben's clowns today will be the lead player armed with a shuriken pistol and power weapon. All of the clowns have a 4 up invun save thanks to their hollow suits and presumably compromising pictures they have of the rules writers somehow. Next up is the Shadow Seer armed with a shuriken pistol and misstave, handing out a bit of stun and psychic powers. Next up is the Death Jester, the only real range weapon and he's going to have a support grip removing heavy and replacing it with cumbersome on that shrieker cannon. Next up are three identical players with shuriken pistols and blades. One's going to have the prismatic grenade and another's going to have a death mask. Packing some heavy firepower punch is a player with fusion pistol and embrace, no equipment. And then finally, one final player armed with a neuro disruptor and the pure psycho crystals giving it a lethal five up and an embrace as well. That's it. Let's have a look at what I'm bringing with my blooded list with the blooded in the league and I'm running beast pelts on everyone except the two GA2 guys and the corpsman and leading my team is the chieftain with plasma pistol and improvised blade. As mentioned at the start I've dropped the ogren as we're playing loot and instead I'm taking two GA2 standard troopers both with bayonets and las guns. Starting the game with a 6 plus feel no pain from my corpsman is the thug. No extra equipment and spoilers I forget about the 6 plus feel no pain for this guy every time. For my gunners I have the melter looking for those mortal wounds and I took the flamer thinking he should be able to pump out some reliable damage against these 4 plus invun dancing elves. Another mainstay of the team I'm taking the comms operative gonna need that APL boost against the 3 APL clowns. Hoping this operative can come into its own in this game reliable shooting from the trench sweeper shotgun might be a great asset here. Pint size fabulous bill is tagging along today probably be in the backfield looting home objectives and buffing or healing where it's needed. Next up is the real leader of the team today, the Enforcer. Big old power fist and bolt pistol ready to keep the clowns at bay or the blooded in line. Next up, it's another melee blender unit. I'm taking the Butcher. Hopefully can mince some clowns and stay alive long enough to cause some chaos. Next up, I'm taking the Brimstone Grenadier. The Diabolic Bomb is ready to hopefully catch some clumped up clowns with some nasty splash damage. It could happen. And finally, I'm taking another melee unit as I feel I do need to be getting into combat to kill these clowns, so I'm taking the Flenser. That's it, so let's have a look at the mission. The lead game missions are set, so this game is going to be loot, and the map layout is from the Turning Point Tactics version 2 map pack for Octarius, layout 9, front line. So with the kill zone all set up, let's get into the first initiative roll off. First roll, yeah, okay, attack, attack a defender roll. I will forget these. That's a six, I'm That's taking it. That's a six. It. Okay. Attacker or defender, what do you want to be? I will take attacker. That's fair. Please. That's fair. I shall take this side. Cool. I take the bottom deployment and barricades are placed. Both players then split their team into three equal groups and we take turns deploying each group, starting with the defender, which is me. In the scouting phase, I choose infiltrate to Ben's recon so the clowns get a free dash and I'll opt to be the attacker. So that's it, the scene is set, let's get into the game. In the shadowed ruins of an abandoned orc settlement, on a forgotten moon, a kill team engagement unfolded between an attachment of traitor guard and a cadre of harlequins, both vying for control of a critical strategic relic buried within the wreckage. The traitor guard, clad in tarnished power armor, adorned with chaotic symbols, moved cautiously throughout the dilapidated corridors, their corrupted hearts fueled by the malevolence of the warp. Across the desolate landscape, the Harlequins, their costumes a vibrant kaleidoscope of colors, bounded gracefully from cover to cover, their laughter echoing eerily throughout the ruins. <laughs> Foolish Monkai! <laughs> The Laughing God has chosen you. <laughs> we are into the first turn. Both players are going to get a command point, but before any dice are rolled, let's go straight in to the turning point one strategic phase. Okay, so strategic phase one. I've decided to be the attacker. 
for better or for worse. So we'll go into, um, I'm gonna say, you know what? I don't think I can see any of your characters anyway, so I can't glory kill you. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay. No strategic ploys for me. I will also leave it. Follow your lead. There you go, okay. Uh, are you gonna reveal any tack ops, I say to myself, because technically I'm the one who's going first. Uh, I am <laughs> not revealing any tack ops, sir. Any for you? Yes, so I will reveal. Oh dear. Grand Act. Oh, okay. Um, so this is a faction attack up. I have to perform each one of the Sadith kind of criteria <laughs> once and I'll get a victory point. Okay. Um, if I do it before the fourth turning point, yes. I'll get a second victory point. Okay. Um, I am going to have Sadith active. I'm going to have tragedy, which means that. Taking wounds? Yes. Okay. So, and the person that's going to have it active to begin with is the grenade. Okay. So, although, so he count as being, he'll be able to retain a dice as if he's in cover, mm -hmm. if he's not in cover. Okay. Um, but although he's got it active, he doesn't count towards the overall sadist um, ability. <laughs> I'm gonna level with you. I feel like say death is like a, a word that just turns my brain off. Because every time I play Harlequins, what, that, they say that word say death, yes. and then the rest of it is I don't get. <laughs> but okay, got you. Okay, anything else happening? Nope, that's it for me. Uh, I, will, I will apply a blooded token, as I just remembered that's something I should do. Uh, I will apply. I always forget. I'm gonna apply it to my leader, in case. Okay. Okay. On to the turn. So first activation for me, and I'm gonna activate both of my G8 troopers. The first one is gonna scramble over this bit of terrain and bop the point ending within an inch of that terrain, so on the objective. And the second one is gonna move up to this barricade and bop this point for two victory points in total. Over to Ben and he's gonna activate one of his normal players. He's gonna move on to this objective, loot it for one action point and then dash behind this bit of terrain. It's back over to me and the two far objectives are already taken care of, so I'm gonna scramble over with my thug and then dash behind this door. Back to Ben and this clown's gonna move on to this objective, loot it, and then dash behind the pillar under this terrain. Staying in conceal, my flenzer is gonna move behind this big scrap pile. Back to the clowns and the shadow seer is gonna race forward onto this objective and loot it for one victory point. Getting ready for his daring charge turn two, my leader is just gonna race forward grabbing some cover here. I foolishly fail to move my Grenadier, so the Death Jester hops onto this vantage and shoots. Uh, okay, so the Death Jester is taking a shot at my out of there in the middle of nowhere, dick in the wind, Brimstone Grenadier. Okay, so what's happening? What's he got? Is there? So we've got five attacks, hitting okay. on threes, uh, four or five damage, um, rending, and it has an ability on it called Humbling Cruelty. So if by some miracle he's alive at the end of the shooting, <laughs> Um, I mean, he's going to be injured anyway because the minimum damage is four, but he would oh, be wow. treated as injured until the end of the turn. Okay. If he had, if he was if above half health. Okay. Cool. You so, say that, but you're going to roll up to twos and ones now. I'm, I'm, I'm getting some twos and ones. Yes. Yes, please. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, at least two. So we've got two crits for the rending. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to go for any rerolls. No rerolls. No rerolls. Okie dokie. So two crits and a hit. I'll take a cover save unless it's non-cover. Nope, you're absolutely in cover. Okay. I was really hoping okay. you'd take that. Right. <laughs> is it, is it, has it got the torrent special rule? rule? I've not used it, no. Oh, so okay, so I won't get a reroll because I've got a mass of spells. Ooh, well, well save. I do make a save. So how much damage is your crit? Uh, that's five. I'll be alive. And it does something else, no? Uh, so if you... I'd be already injured, yeah. Yeah, already okay. injured. Uh, I'll take it. I guess you will have overwatch. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can still overwatch because it's a torrent choice. Yes. Oh, okay, so you'll still be able to watch back and move before you find Okay, I'll take that. Five uh, damage, you said. Five damage, indeed. Five damage, indeed. So, the question is, do I leave him out in the open now and leave a big fat target on his back? Or, because you took... The saying that, you don't have... You've got long-range shooting. Yes. But you don't it's not have... good long-range shooting. Like, the long-range shooting I have is a last gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not the best. Decides not to risk it and dashes the Death Jester off the vantage. It's back to me and I'm still planning for my turn two big push, so my comms operative is going to move on to this objective behind the barricade, but he's not going to bop it. Instead, he's going to boost the APL of my leader by one. It's back to Ben and he's going to activate the player with the Neurodisruptor with lethal five. Playing a bit cagey, he's just going to move him behind this door here. 
Back to me and my trench sweeper is going to move next to this scrap pile and loot the objective. Back to Ben and a player with the death mask is just going to race forward towards my lines. Praying for turn two initiative, my melter gun is going to race forward towards that shadow seer. Just a small reposition with the fusion pistol player. When you've got fly, you can be a little reserved in the early game. No rush to get anywhere. Possibly a little bit too forward, I'm going to move my enforcer next to the GA trooper. Last move for the clowns and the leader is going to shuffle taking a central position on the back lines. My corpseman is going to move next to the butcher and give him relentless with his old pump and full of drugs business. Freshly juiced up, the butcher is then just going to take a position behind this door ready to race forward in turn two or three. The injured brimstone grenadier is just going to hobble forward into cover behind this building. And finally, my flamer is just going to move behind this door as well, looking to race forward in turn two. And that's it. That's the end of turn one. Not a lot has happened, but let's have a look at what has happened. Unsurprisingly, both teams have raced forward to take that central line position, but let's have a look at the mission. We're playing the loot mission type, so these are scored as and when they get looted. Here are the objectives, but if you weren't keeping track, both players scored three victory points, looting three objectives each. In terms of TAC Ops, there's only one in play, Grand Act. I'm not going to pretend to know what the requirements are, but Ben will go through it as and when this is scored. But that's it. We're at the end of the first turn. I'm not sure I'm in a great position. Honestly, clowns do scare me, but we'll see what I can pull out of the bag in turning point two. Let's go. We are into turning point two. Let's get straight to that all important initiative roll off. Okay, hey, initiative turn two. Uh, you'll break ties because I foolishly took it. <gasps> I get a six. Though, so a I'm six. gonna take it. Yes, sir. I'm sure. gonna be the attacker. I'll okay. take the initiative. Thanks. Okay, okay. I will apply a blooded token. I'm gonna apply it to Mr. Melter. Yep. I'm gonna say this is gonna be some elf word, isn't it? That I won't understand. Yes. God damn it. I'll, should I write it down for you? <laughs> that wouldn't help. I'm also illiterate. I was going to say domino field. Oh, okay. Is, is this if you've moved? Oh, no, you tell me what it is. I don't mind guessing. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I say, oh, is this when you get like a two up in run if you've stayed still? Yeah, yeah, and that's, you're like, that's the one. You got it. Nailed it, Russ. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> so, what is domino field? Uh, domino field is effectively super concealed if you are further than six inches away. Okay. It's more of a it's more of a precautionary measure. Sure. Anything else you gonna run? Um, we'll go with jest. So Segarax jest. Um, once per round of combat, regardless of whether I'm attacking or you're attacking me. Um, when you go to strike me with a normal, I can roll a dice, and if I oh, get four your or something. yeah, if I get your weapon skill or lower, uh, it turns that hit into a parry. Okay. Um, okay, I'm not going to play anything else. Okay. Strategic Ops, are you going to play anything? Nope, nothing for me. Tac Ops, I will... Even though I said I shouldn't run it, I've run it. I've only gone and done it. Oh. Going to go for Eliminate Guards on your man over here. Yes. Cool. Because hopefully I'll kill him. Makes yeah. sense, yeah. Anything for you? Nope. I'm also going to run Route. Okay. But that's all I'm running. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Anything else happening? Nope. Let's get into it then. So it's my first activation and I aim to get rid of that Shadow Seer and get one victory point for Eliminate Guards. Let's go. Chaos Gods, I beseech thee, give me some good rolls. I've got a automatic hit with my blooded token, but I hit on fours. I want some sixes because I need more wounds to put these guys down reliably. Let's go. Okay, nice. so I have missed two. Yep. Okay, so that is AP2 means nothing. That's four mortal wounds. Do how many wounds have you got? Nine. So a minimum... Oh, God, you'll get them all, though. Oh, no, <laughs> you'll get them all. But you'd need... Oh, no, you'll get them all. I need to re-roll it. I need to re-roll it. I'm re-rolling it. I might not get them all. I'll save them for you, but, you, but you'll have them. Oh, wow. that's it. That's, I needed that roll before that. So I spent a command point to do... Nice. Eight mortal wounds. And, and he I is think down. he's just dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to roll it just to see what we've yeah. got. <laughs> I mean, look at... <laughs> You got more. <laughs> See, if I'd not have done that, if I'd not done that, yeah, you would have got more. Ridiculous. Wow. See, that's what that's what you're up against when you're up against the clowns. Nice. Okay. So I'll get um, eliminate guard. Yeah, I'll get eliminate guards for that. Nice. Nice. 
So I get one victory point and the Shadow Seer is no more, but Ben is unwilling to let me bask in the warmth of victory for too long, so he activates the Death Jester. Okie dokie, so some elven dancing and your jester is now going to shoot at my GA1 troop, GA2 trooper <laughs> and my enforcer. Yeah. Uh, who do you want to shoot at first, sir? We will go with Mr. GA2. Okay, yeah. He should be a soft target for you. Yeah, so this is five hit on threes, four or five rending, and Ooh. very, very cruel. <laughs> so we've got okay, two, crits. So two crits and two hits. Uh, I guess I'll take... It's not AP, no? No AP, no. I'll take a cover save and roll the other two. Uh, I just make one. That's probably going to be a lot of damage, right? Yes. Enough damage. He's dead. Cool. Like splat. That then does the... one of the, Again, one of the save things. Two or more shots have gone through on a kill. Okay. Um, and then we'll go into your next guy. Into the enforcer. The guy that I want to live. Uh, should have picked him first. Bad. Yes, um, you should. I should. No, cr no rending. No rending. Two hits. Are you going to so. do anything about that? I get a four-up save with this guy. He's slightly better. Um, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for the. You're going to go for it. Oh, roll it one. Oh. Okay. So okay. We've got, the, we've got the extra hit. We'll uh, take I don't it. know why I was just taking two cover saves. <laughs> two cover saves. So uh, I'll take the cover save. It's part crew. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh. So two. How many did you base damage? Four. Four, so eight. I would need one more to live because he has exactly eight wounds. I will use a command point for a 50-50 shot at life. He did not choose life. He is dead. Kasplat. Enforcer down. Yes. Brutal. Brutal. That, that redemption, redemption for the, uh, for the, uh, the elves. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and then that is the death jester done. So to do that torrent shot cost two AP. Oh, okay. Looking to activate before he gets noticed, my leader, who's been boosted to three APL, is going to race forward and try and take out a clown in shooting. It's risky with their four up invun, but I'm going to try. This could be very foolish, but I've done it now. So I'm outside my deployment zone. So my blood token becomes yeah, well out. Blood token becomes a gaze of the gods. So I'm now my three APL leader. He's moved here and he's going to shoot. This chap here, yes. hit on threes, I'm not overcharging despite your attempts to goad me into it, because I don't need it, because it does nothing, because you're all in bats. Oh, 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 wow, look, look at that for a roll. Oh, but you could, you know, the thing is, you can still get away absolutely scot-free. What am I doing? I keep, I keep, you know what, I have to hope. You know, I can't spend any more command points, I just have to leave it like that. That's a, but that's a, that was a dead everything else. But because you're a harlequin, this might not be, you might this might not even be a tickle. <sighs> so block to crit. Oh my god. What's the Plus six? It. Okay, so I have to get a save to stay alive for a reroll. Didn't really want to have to reroll. You only got two left. I've only got two left though as well. He's gonna use it. He's gonna absolutely use it. It's a 50-50 gamble to keep an elf alive. And it's worth it though, because he's got a death mask, if he dies, I'll just get that command point back. Oh, well, there you go, so it's like a, a freebie. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. So you take, well, you, well, that's the same difference, I guess, so you take six damage. Six, six damage. Oh. Nice. Oh. Goddamn. Oh. Goddamn elves. This is when Presh comes in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, I've done that, and I've still got one AP left. So I'm going to dash here. As if that makes a massive difference to my plans. That's where he's gonna end up. Did I say risky? I think I meant futile. With his shooting done, he's then gonna dash backwards into a little bit of cover and hopefully get forgotten. It's back to the clowns and Ben's gonna activate his player with prismatic grenade. So he's moved and he's thrown his grenade, his, what was it, fusion? Uh, prismatic. Prismatic, so, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. moving dash, um, chuck the grenade down, it's going to be four hits, hit on threes, three four stun. Who do you want to go for first? Uh, well, this guy. Budley. Yeah, Mr. Feel No Pain himself. Mr. Thudley. Oh yeah, he has got six up Feel No Pain. Hey. It's coming in. <sighs> one hit. Ooh, one hit. Uh, no AP, AP. No AP. Uh, okay, I think he's got, he might have a four up save, but he's definitely got a six up save, so he's fine. Nice. GA2 uh, Scumly. Mr. Ooh, 
Ooh, I hit a crit though, so you probably do some damage. Is it stun on a crit? Stun on a crit, yes. Okay, so he's down to 1 AP anyway now. Why have you got two dice? I keep thinking it's AP. Uh, oh, he doesn't make any saves. How much damage will that be? Seven. <sighs> I might have to save. I might have to use one to save him, just so I can I can loot. Oh, the other dude isn't stopped. You know what? I need my command points. I'm gonna let him die. Okay. He's just died. How many? <laughs> has he got anything left to do? That's it. He is done. Okay, well, I'll let him die then. That's your token, isn't it? There. Yes, that's his. Then. Cool. Kaboom! That's my GA two's done. So both of my GA troopers are dead, but my thug still lives and I need to make some use out of him, so he's gonna move forward and loot this objective before Ben can. Speaking of Ben, it's back to him and his void dancers. Another cagey move, this injured player with the death mask is gonna move onto this objective and loot it, staying in conceal. In a similar move to turn one, my flenzer is gonna scramble over and loot this objective. And that's enough dancing, it's time for some melee. Ben charges one of his players into my melter gun. So, I think I'm four, I think I'm three attacks. Yep. Yeah, okay, it's pretty rubbish. Three attacks hitting on fours. Sure, I have five attacks hitting on threes. Okay, okay, so. Okay, enough. I got hit in a crit though, so. Mm. How much damage you got? Uh, it's four, five. I've got balanced because of the. Oh, the jest. Sword. No, sword. So, it's probably going to be enough to do. Yeah, I mean, there was enough there anyway. Um, well, I'm full wounds actually. So I'm gonna hit you for three damage, mind. Is it three? Three. Two three. three. Yeah. Two three. And how much? Yeah. So I'll I'll hit you for three damage and die. Just so you know. Yeah. That's not nothing, mate. That's that's, that's the most a guardsman can hope to do in combat. <laughs> I feel like I know cultists are no different. Blood is no different. Yeah, but what, uh, well, after you, mate. What do you want to do? I don't want to speak for your combat. You might want to. I hit you for four. You're gonna hit me for four. I think so. Uh, and then you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you for three. <laughs> Jeez. Oof. Roll that. I, I do. Do you want to roll your invuns? No, sir, you can't. You're just oh. going to take it. No. Boom. Right in the face as well. Right in the keister. So right. I'm pretty dead now, right? Yeah, no, yeah. I'll hit you again. Hit me again. Boom. Killed. Cool. So that's splat. Three of the criteria for the. Um, Cigarettes jest. No. Close enough for the, uh, for the thing you've done, the, the attack off. Okay. The Trench Sweeper's shotgun is in theory pretty good against a clown, so let's put that to the test. Three, three. I need, yeah, three, three damage, four attacks hitting on twos. Nice. So I should get some stuff through on you, is what I'm thinking. Yep. That is my thought process. <sighs> but we know what it's like to have thoughts. Okay, so four attacks from my shotgun, dude, into your player, your clown. Hitting on twos. Okay. Nice. That's a decent roll. That is a very decent yeah, roll. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll do some damage at least. Absolutely. So cover I'll save. Take the cover. And then block a set, block the other one. Oh, there'll be six damage going through unless you want to re-roll nope. anything. Nope, nope, nice, nope. okay, six damage, decent. So let's have a look. So who's been shot so far? This guy got shot. Two wounds left. This guy got shot. Two wounds left. This guy got shot. Yes. How is this for your this for sadist? Sadist stuff. Yes. So sadly Ben opts not to ignore my leader and he's gonna charge his lethal five neuro disruptor player right next to him and shoot him in the head. Oh dear. Okay, so neuro disruptor into the back of my leader's head. Two inches and no cover. And it's AP one. And it's lethal five. Oh, oh, so one, one crit. Crit and two hits. Uh, anything else happening with that? Nope. That's uh, that's your lot. Okie dokie. Five up saves. Oh! Whoa. Okay. How much is your minimum damage? Four? Four, yeah. Oh, so he lives on four wounds. Nice. Man alive. I was not anticipating him lasting. No, nice. I mean, he's going to die in the overwatch, right? <laughs> <laughs> but he lives for now. He does. Yeah. Minus one AP out if he survives the next turn. Oh, he's minus one AP out. So my leader survives the initial blast and my butcher is going to race forward onto this objective outside of charge range. Couldn't quite get there of the player, but he's ready for next turn. Looking to clear me off the objective, the fusion pistol player is going to move and shoot the thug. Uh, did you charge or are you shooting? Oh, he's the melter again. You shoot. Right? Yeah, definitely going to shoot. Definitely going to shoot. Okay. Yeah, I don't fancy being hit when, it, when you go down. True. Oh no, that's not that guy, that's this dude. Oh, okay. So he's. Uh, did that change what you want to do? No. Nah, I was going to say, still got, still got a better chance in combat. I'm brutal 4 4, so I'll at least do 4 damage. Yeah, we'll try, we'll try and melt your face off. That's fair, that's fair. So melt the gun into my uh, thug. Yes, it's 4, hit on 3s, AP 2, mortal wounds on crits. 
No crits. No crits. AP2 though. AP2. I could live. So what damage is this normally? Four, five. I'll double check for you. I'll, I'll roll my dice. Oh, I make a save as well. Wow. He's gonna live. I don't know why I'm so excited. He's, he's a peon. He'll die in Overwatch. But <laughs> I, I do survive one, and it's gonna be minus one to whatever this is damage-wise, because he's the thug. He is the thug. The thug. So what is it? What's the damage? Five. Five. So down to four. Yep. And he's. Oh, I think he's seven wounds, so he's down to three. There we go. I'm nice. surprised he survived, though. Took him down to the face, yeah. he says. Pleasantly surprised. I mean, he, he must be I mean, he's pretty, doing pretty rough like <laughs> Told you I forgot the feel and the pains. My commsman then loots the objective and uses his last action to buff the already buffed Butcher. Back to the Harlequins, and Ben is going to move his leader, move and dash him onto this objective and loot it for a victory point. It's back over to me and I'm going to try and heal up my Grenadier by moving the corpse next to him and giving him some drugs. And you know what, why I don't do this is because it only ever rolls two ones. 2d3 wounds back on my Brimstone Grenadier. Oh, okay, three wounds back, so he's up to five. Nice. So he's no longer injured. I'll take that. Okay, so it's now back to Ben. He's got two lots of Overwatch, and where he's starting first is the Neuro Disruptor shooting right into the back of my leader's face. Once more, let's hope he misses everything. Come on, people. Okay, so Overwatch into my leader. So you're not injured, though, so it is just fours, okay? Not as good as it could have been. No. Four on fours, AP1. AP1, lethal five. So crit and a hit. Oh, so I could still live yep. if I roll... A, a six and a five. No, I've already failed one. Oh, yeah, he's just dead. <laughs> and I was trying to do it all sassy and just roll one at a time. Kaboom. My leader is dead. Oh, oh he's hanging on to me. My leader is dead. Hanging on for dear life. Hanging now with his, with his top knot. <laughs> his top knot climber. Top notch climber. Whee! <laughs> That's <was> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> My Flamer is just going to move forward getting some cover and then we're on to the second lot of Overwatch, this time from the Fusion Pistol. Cool. Okay, so the second Overwatch, Fusion Pistol, he's not injured. Oh no, he is. No, he's not, that's the... I got so happy, but it was the loot icon. <laughs> okay, so hitting on fours into my three wounds, dude. Yes. Sug. Oh, okay. More wounds. Oh yeah, he's dead oh, anyway. Crit. Nice. He survived the first. He survived only to die in the second volley, but he did his job, which was, I mean, was to die, I guess. <laughs> he is a cultist, that's their lot in life. <laughs> Okie dokie. But I've only got one more activation, so I think that's probably it. Mm -hmm. In terms of turn two. So my last activation was to race my Brimstone Grenadier forward, looking to bomb one of these little groups. But that's it, that's the end of turn two. So let's have a quick recap of the movement of what's happened in turning point two. Both sides are still racing up to take the center line of the kill zone, replacing models that were killed there in the previous turn, and the clowns taking the right flank, but I've got operatives there looking to reclaim it. Obviously the mission we're playing is loot, and here are the objectives. Obviously these objectives are, are scored as and when they are looted, but as a recap, both sides managed to loot three objectives for three victory points each. Let's have a look at the secondaries, the tac ops. Ben has three out of the five performances for his tac ops so far for Grand Act, and I managed to get this kill for Eliminate Guards for one victory point for me. My leader wasn't able to get a kill, so I don't get route, but that's it, that's the end of turn two, so let's get straight in to turn three. We're into turn three, it's getting pretty tense. Let's get straight to the all important roll off. I was just about to say strategic I was just about to give it to you without rolling for it. Okay, strategic phase. Oh, well then you've got it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can roll if you want, but you don't need to. Always. It's definitely yours. Do you want initiative? I can't tell if this is faux thinking or if you're actually thinking of going second. I assume this is faux thinking. It's a little bit of both. It's a little bit. You're just yeah. trying to stress me out, okay? Yes. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. I'll take it. I've killed one of your dudes. Yep. Uh, you've killed one of my dudes within six because you have to, and it's an initiative. So I get this many bladder tokens to divvy out. Fantastic. Uh, okay, go into the strategic phase. What are you going to do? Long story short, Ben decides to pass, and it's back to me. I will divvy out some blooded tokens. Okay. 
Uh, okay, over to you for strategic ploys. I know you didn't play one, so you're still passing. I will pass the last. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go glory kill on. I'm gonna go. Oh, he's got two wounds as well. I'll go glory kill on your fusion. Okay. So I'm gonna reveal both of my other two. Yeah. Uh, wow. Subversive control. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's an infiltration attack up. Oh, okay. Uh, and it means I've got to control an objective on your side of the board. I do you know what turn. that one is? Yes. Okay. Um, and so that's I'm, technically any of these three, yeah. Yes. And then I'm also going to reveal um, seize defenses. Uh, I will eliminate guard Z. Yeah. Okay. We'll go for eliminate guards on him. It might be a mistake, but it's done. Anything else happening? Mm, no. Okie dokie. Kicking things off with some melee, this player charges down onto the objective, loots it, and then fights my flenzer. On my man in the face. Okay, so I get an Ormac hit, because I do have a blooded token. Yep. Not that that should worry you. That's okay, I've got two wounds. I am. Oh yeah, you're dead anyway, really, aren't you? Okay. Five attack, hit on fours with a reroll. Good okay. Oh. With a reroll. Okay, that's Better. something. So two hits. Um, okay, so I get. Ceaseless and lethal five, which is lucky. So one lethal five. Okay, <laughs> <Okey-dokey. laughs> To hell with you, he says. Cool, so you have... I mean, seven wounds. You've got seven wounds, I have two hits. Oh, hang on a sec. I'm going to need to do something here, because you're going to do this thing where you... I'm not. Can you not do it? I, I, I can, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to do the thing where I hit you and fly away. No, you can't. Can you not do two hits at once? I could, but you'd still hit me and kill me. No, can you not have to? Could you parry with them? No, you have to hit. Okay. Yeah, so I could, I'd have that's to, fine. I'll leave it then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you strike with a hit, so you. I mean, I could. Uh, I'm saying that, but. but it, if I, I mean, I might do the thing where I hit you twice anyway, because you'll still kill me. I still kill you on death, but I'll be dead, and that, I couldn't change that anyway. Because if, if you can't parry with them, you have to strike. I'll just take the strike and then kill you afterwards. Yeah. So. It depends on if you want him alive or dead. You've already bobbed the point he's next to it anyway. Yeah, it'd probably be more useful for him to be dead, for both of them to be dead. Yeah, because it's, it's in worth the command. Yeah, point, it's, it's worth doing it. So I'll move in, strike, strike right. you again. And, and I will hit on death, killing you. Yep. Double death. Double death. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those noises. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what you called them, but yeah. Uh, Foley sounds. Foley sounds. Yes. Everybody's dead, Dave. I then activate my grenadier and throw the diabolic grenade at the leader, but a cool move I should have done would be to move within blast range of this guy and then throw the diabolic bomb at him. With my beast pelt, I'm immune to splash, but can be used to generate it. Much better with gaze of the gods, but stupidly, I don't have that yet. So, that's a game-changing sort of moment, that Yes, one. I didn't see that, and then I saw it, I was like, ooh, mama. So, sadly, I didn't put this guy as my eliminate guards. <laughs> so, so this guy that I'm now currently ignoring is my eliminate guards target. Um, foolishly, but you know, what the hell. So he's moved up, I'm gonna get an automatic hit, because he's got a blooded token. Yep. Probably shouldn't take it, I probably should try and roll to get the sixes, but let's roll for the first dude, which is the fusion, no, not the fusion, the Neuro Disruptor. Nice. And, it's, you see, if it was in the dark, we'd be loving it. It's not, uh, and I put glory kill on you, this dude over here. So there's no rerolls unless I reroll something. I think I might reroll one. Okay. I'm just gonna give it a little, Give me a crit. Oh. No, didn't get a crit. He was playing for it. Let's go. Ooh. Did he roll? Ooh. <laughs> Blocks no. Oh. Damn it. This is what is happened. This is what happens. This is what happens. Okay, so on the other guy. Nice. Oh, come on. All sixes, two, four, six. Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be very nice. That'd be nice. Unlikely, though. So everyone gets two more wounds. Okay. Uh, and he has four hits on him. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, I think the leader's just dead. I think it's three, six, nine, twelve. Three, six, nine, twelve. And then two damage. I'm gonna double check. It's three, but I'm pretty uh, confident it is. Nice. It is three, three. Oh. Splash two limited. Very. So two mortal wounds on this dude, and currently this guy's dead. Unless you're gonna reroll any of those saves. Not worth it. No. So if he's taking the two mortal wounds, he'll be down to seven. Yeah. Um, and then that's still even if I make the save, it's three. So it'd be twelve. So block one, this will be nine. Block two would be six. So let's have a think. Oh. No, but I can't do it because I've only got the one 
command points are spent on the thing. Oh, okay. So okay. yeah, he has to die. He has to die. He has to die. He has to die. Cruel irony, that's then losing wounds to a shooting attack, which gives me the same. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay, nice. So I get one for rout, but sadly, due to poor play, I've not got one for eliminate guards for him. Yep. Back to the clowns, and this injured clown charges my butcher, and I smell something fishy in the air. So, <laughs> injured dude charged over is gonna try and do some elven bullshittery. Bullshittery magnificus. Okay, go for it, sir. Come on. Oh, got the one. I got one hit. one hit. Okay. That's so, fine. I mean, I'll, I'll pretend like we know what's going to happen. Cool. So I'm going to get a hit with automatic. Yes. And then I'll. So nice. That's, that's a decent roll, to be fair. There's two crits in it, in it and two hits. Okay. What's happening, though? So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend I don't know what's happening. What's happening, Ben? I might, I might do a. Um... The curtain falls. So you might curtain fall me. I think I might. Yeah, I think I might need to. So if I wow. if I hit you with that one four, okay, and then so I'm going to fall back. Immediately run away. <laughs> okay. I run away. So four damage down to four. Yep. How uh, oh, dare. Four damage down to four, and actually I'm just going to kind of fall back to just behind this barricade. So I'm still on the point. Wow. Um, you can't bop it though because I, I have three APL as well. This is true. That's I've, the only my only good thing. But what that does do, so I've moved, so I've done a charge, I've fallen, finished within six. Yeah. Uh, I've killed you in combat with two hits or less. I've shot you with two or more hits going through and killed you. I've lost wounds to a shooting attack and I've done a fallback action, which means that is two victory points because we're in turn three. God damn. So that is my grand act complete. Grand act completed. Love it. I would hate it, but <laughs> good. My butcher then charges into this player on this objective. He is going to get an automatic hit yep. with his blooded token. But do you know what? I might end up having to re-roll it if I don't get any here, I guess. Five. So I get at least one crit. So I don't think there's anything that you can do about it. I re-roll that, it was a four. So I've got all hits. I have two hits. Two hits. So my crit will kill you with six damage. Yep. I will then heal. Nice. D three wounds. Two wounds. So I'm back up to six, six, uh, four, five, six. Which yep. is almost enough. I've got three APL because of the boost. So I've charged forward and I'm going to bop for yep. one victory point. Nice. Let's find that one. Um, okay, nice. Uh, and again, not someone I picked. My eliminate guard target. So the Butcher does what the Butcher does, and I should have played Robin Ransack, but I forget, but I can still get it. And then it's back over to Ben, and he's gonna move this guy, the one with the Neuro Disruptor, and charge straight in to my comms operator on the objective, but he doesn't loot it yet. Um, so, uh, what's this do? Just a normal, the Neuro Disruptor is charging into the comms move, which I was hoping you were gonna just ignore, <laughs> if you haven't. <laughs> so, charge, fight, and then most likely you're gonna steal that from under me. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Decent roll. Decent roll. That's probably going to be enough. Yeah, that is. Let's have a look at my roll in comparison. I get one. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not going to bother re-rolling anything <laughs> for me, if I'm honest. No. So I parry that. kill. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Splat. Boom. Takes an yeah. embrace to the face. Yeah. Face um, brace. And then. And then. Uh, I'm gonna shoot your flamer. Damn it! I can just see his little. His yeah, little well, he's right in front of you. He's, he's he's a prime target. Okay, so not content with killing the comms, he's now gonna try and kill my flamer. So this is four on threes, AP one, lethal five. The absolute cheek. Okay. Uh, so we've got two at the minute, and it's what? It's AP one. AP one. Would you say I'm getting cover from there? <laughs> no, yes. I'm joking. I'll take it if you get now. Okay, so I need a decent roll. Uh, oh, okay. So blocks are correct. How much damage? Four. So I'm going to be injured. Six, seven. Yeah. Three wounds remaining on him. Is it worth the? Re it's worth the re-roll. Go for it. I I rolled preemptively. Yeah, we're going for. Go for a re-roll. We'll go for a re-roll. Yeah, yeah. I I rolled too quickly. Is that enough? That's a hit. That's a hit. So he's dead. Then well, I. Then do you want an extra? Do you want to consider a re-roll? It's only fair. I think I need a save. Actually, how many have I got left? One, two, three, four, five. Hitting on threes now. 
No, he's a five up save. I think I would just. I'm happy from. I'm not happy, but he's dead. <laughs> he's just dead. <laughs> I am content. I am content. I am thrilled. <laughs> Nothing stings quite like getting double killed, but I need to kill my Eliminate Guard's target, so my Trench Sweeper is gonna race forward and fire. So he doesn't have a blooded token, but he's four attacks hitting on twos. Yep. This is finally my, gl my glory kill, even though I've only finally told targeted. So I've got glory kill and I've got, I did do glory kill on him, didn't I? God, I can't remember. I think you did. I think I did, but we'll find out when I re redo it in the edit. Yeah. That I, I picked someone else. It should have picked him because he was my eliminate guard target. I think you did. You said you were going to pick something I else. I think he was. Yeah, he was eliminate guard as well. Uh, I don't need it though, so I get all hits. Cool. So I'll do at least three damage. Cool. So because of the save, I'm retaining a save anyway. Sure. Okay. Um, fail. Oh yeah. no! So he takes three damage, and that's it. Three damage to Three the face. Three damage to the face, but not enough to injure him. Alas. So it's only three wounds going through, which is less than I'd hoped, and it's back to Ben, and he's gonna activate his last guy, which is the fusion pistol, and he's gonna try and ruin my day, and you know what, he's probably going to do just that. Uh, okay, so your fusion pistol retaliating into the uh, trench sweeper, shield guy, and I'm not relentless defense. So four on threes, AP two, more wounds on a crit. <laughs> oh, mama. So, I think I'm just dead. I think you're probably dead. Uh, I mean, I make one save, but that's still going to be more than enough to kill him. Because spawn, and I think now technically you have more models <laughs> in play than me, which is not a not where you want to be against the the clowns. <laughs> <laughs> they've, uh, they've they've just hacked and slashed their way through. So with the trench sweeper dead, he then loots the objective and moves on to this central point. I've only got one activation left, that's the Corpsman, and I've got some decisions that need to be made. You know what, I might have to go for a Hail Mary. Okay. I would need two crits. It's not gonna happen. Or, I'd need, I'd need two crits. <laughs> I'd need two crits, whereas him, I can guarantee a hit. Well, I can't guarantee a hit, but I could hit. Mm -hmm. But if I go there, he then shoots me. But, I'm in a position to get that next turn. Whereas I wouldn't be in a position to get it this turn because I would just be dead. So I think, as crazy as that sounds, I might just have to risk it for the brisket. I do like a brisket. I do like a brisket. I'm going to risk it for the brisket. With brisket on the line, my corpsman charges into this player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to use his normal. Oop. Three attacks, hitting on four, so I'm doing this because he's only got two wins left so I can kill him. And if he lives past the... the... Jekyll man, Joker, mm -hmm. Harlequin, Death Jester, that's the one. If he lives past his shooting and or charging, I can maybe bop a point. So... Nice. Oh, Ooh, great roll. He's you know, the best combat we've had all game. He will absolutely obliterate you uh, in combat. Damn, down he goes. Down he goes. And you get a command point for that, because I've killed you with the mask. Oh, I do get a command Yes, thank you. <sighs> okay, so he needs to survive, so that maybe... Over to Ben, and the Death Jester moves onto this objective, loots it for a victory point, and shoots the much juicier target, the Brimstone Grenadier. So, deciding to let my corpsman live, you're going to shoot the five wounds Brimstone Grenadier instead. Yep. Shoot it on the eight closer. Ooh, I know. thought about it, however... He, he his gun's too long. He's still out range. He's still out range. Yeah, that's fair, fair, fair. Okay, go so, for it. Looking for. Cool. So we've got two crits and a hit. Rending. No AP on this. No AP. I really wanted an obnoxious, obnoxious roll there, but it hasn't happened. There's no point re-rolling anything because I need all three. So I think he's just dead. He's uh, just dead. He does blow up, but there's no one within range. So there's going to be a big explosion, Amazing. and then when the smoke clears, there is nothing. Not even a taint remains, not even a stain. He is butter crater. Exactly. A butter crater? A butter crater. How tasty. <laughs> <laughs>
So no more Brimstone Grenadier and no more turn three. Let's move straight into turn four and let's have a look at what's happened in the previous turn. Here is the movement. You can see the clowns have now fully broken into the blooded lines and here are the deaths, quite a lot. We're playing the loot mission. If you need to be reminded, here are the objectives. They get scored as and when they get looted during the mission. It's not been a great turn for the blooded. We only managed to score one of the objectives, the Harlequins getting three. So it's a big swing in terms of primary, but let's have a look at the secondary. The clowns get both of their secondary seized defenses and subversive control, and also in this turn they maxed out Grand Act. So let's have a look at the blooded. Hopefully they did the same, right? No. The Eliminate Guard target still lives, however, I did get one victory point for Rout with the Brimstone Grenadier before he died. On to the final turn. We're into the final turn. Both players get a command point. Let's get straight into that initiative roll off. Turn initiative roll off? Yep, and the tie is yours. Oh, but it is yours, friend. Do you want to take initiative? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. Go with. Um, uh, nothing. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will go with glory kill on him. Okay. So yeah, so he's going to be my glory kill and eliminate guards target. Okay. Ben gets a first activation and races forward after looting the objective with his death jester. Okay, your death jester mercy killing my corpseman. <laughs> <laughs> Full wounds. Go for it, sir. Ooh. Oh, he will live. He will live forever. So, should we go for a re Yeah, we'll go for a reroll. We'll go for, we'll go for one reroll for now. Oh, yeah, outside? I will get covered. Were you meant to be within? Uh, Were you trying to be within? I, I didn't plan that far ahead, so Do you no. want to be in? Do you yes. want to move you a little bit? Nope, you can have it. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm, he's, he's not going to anyway. Ah. Okay. Well, anyway. Oh, well, there you go. He's definitely dead. Splitterated. Oh, he fell. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> dead. He dies. He is deft. A storm, a maelstrom of bullets. Hailstorm. A hailstorm, a male hailstorm. <laughs> a stale hail. Stale. So I could just loot the objective for a safe one victory point, or I could try and kill the Death Jester and then reveal Robin Ransack, so I'd get two victory points, one for Eliminate Guards, one for Robin Ransack. Maybe he lives, probably not, but let's do that. Maybe I can gain an extra victory, uh, an extra health, so. Three automatic hit. Yep. Uh, thank God I am relentless still, so that is going to be a six because he's lethal five. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I've got four hit on threes, uh, three, four damage. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I should have looted. <laughs> I should have looted. <laughs> oh mama, I'm in trouble. So the max I can do is six damage and then I'm, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, well, no, you, because what's your, how many wounds have you got? Nine. Nine. So you would parry me and then you won't kill me, because what's your minimum damage? Three, four. So it's four, so it'd be four, four hundred damage. Three hundred. So I think you probably, so, okay, so I'm going to do six damage. Yep. I'll parry you. Yeah, okay. And then I'll do seven. Yeah. So I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that took so long to talk out. <laughs> Death Jester. Death. Deathed me. He MVP. deathed me. And you know what I should have done? I should have stayed where I was, and I should have bopped the point. Because then, I would, have, I would have got a victory point, instead of no victory points. Sadly. <laughs> nice. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth. And that is why, you don't do what you think you should do, you do what you should do. Yeah? Smooth brained it there. Yeah, I did smooth brain it. At ultimate. So at the end, I've got no one left. So these two are players. Move on to objectives and loot them for two victory points on the primary. And that's basically it. And here is the recap for the final turn. Not a lot happened, obviously. And here are my last two operatives dying miserably. The mission was loot. Here are the objectives for loot. Uh, it's scored as and when they get looted. However, last turn is a very low scoring turn. I got no objectives and Ben, the Harlequins player, managed to get three. So it's a great another sweep on the primary at the end of turn four. And Ben managed to max out his tack ops with this single operative. And that's it. That's the end of the game. And it's a great victory for the Void Dancer troop. And if you've made it this far, a big thank you from me to you for supporting the channel. It all helps. It's a very small channel, but we're looking to make it bigger so we can get all that free stuff. Thanks very much to the patrons who help support the channel even more. If you want to join the Patreon, please do so. There'll be a link in the video's description. Thanks very much. And I'll see you in the next video.